Breaking news in the deadly shooting in Maine where police are now calling the person of interest a wanted suspect and police say he is considered armed and dangerous as you can see. Good afternoon. I'm Chris Raggy now on CBS 2 and streaming on CBS News New York. We begin with that active manhunt underway currently for that suspect in Lewiston, Maine, which is about 36 miles north of Portland. Authorities just giving an update moments ago issuing an arrest warrant for Robert Card in that shooting last night that killed 18 people. 13 others were injured when the gunman opened fire in several locations. CBS 2's Bradley Blackburn live in Lewiston with the search that is currently underway. Bradley. Chris, the danger really isn't over here yet with this with this suspect still on the run. We know that federal law enforcement agents, including ATF agents and U.S. Marshals, have joined in this manhunt. And until they catch him, this grieving community is essentially frozen in place. Law enforcement officials are asking for the public's help to track down the gunman responsible for the deadly mass shooting in Lewiston, Maine. If you see anything suspicious, please call us. We have an active shooter. We have multiple injuries. Police released these photos of a man walking into a bowling alley Wednesday night, pointing a weapon. There was a loud pop. This witness says he ran when the shots rang out. I just booked it um, down the lane and I slid basically into where the pins are and climbed up in the machine and was on top of the machines for about 10 minutes until the cops got there. Police said they responded to a second shooting location at a bar and restaurant less than four miles away. Police have identified 40-year-old Robert Card as the suspect in the pair of shootings. Mr. Card is considered armed and dangerous, and police advise that Maine people should not approach him under any circumstances. Card is in the Army Reserves, but according to the Maine Information and Analysis Center, he is not a trained firearms instructor with the reserves, as previously reported. He recently reported mental health issues and threatened to shoot up a National Guard base. He was committed to a facility for two weeks over the summer. Residents were told to stay locked in their homes while law enforcement officers search for the suspect. Schools are closed and people who live here are shaken. You and me and all these people standing here, we, we all got a fear for our lives today. Police also released a photo of the person of interest's vehicle that they recovered in a parking lot. And the governor's office again says that 18 people have been killed in these two shootings, seven of whom died in the bowling alley just down the road behind me. And we are learning more about what it was like in the moments before the shooting fired. That facility, Chris, was hosting a children's league that yesterday evening, just before 7 o'clock when all this began. Just sickening and heartbreaking at the same time. Bradley, thank you. Stay with CBS2 for continuing coverage as the search for that suspect in Maine continues. You can also find the latest updates anytime on our website at cbsnewyork.com.